Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you the cheapest and the fastest and easiest method to train flux loras. So uh, today I am going to train a style lora based on like you know the film uh, effect from 1940s. But I have previously tried this with faces, and uh, I'll give an estimate of the cost that you will have. You'll see later on that it kind of depends on the GPU, but with the setting I am using, and if you want to create consistent uh, faces, right, you need seven images of that same person with different expressions, and uh, you would need to just train for seven hundred steps. I have seen that seven hundred steps does produce good results. so train them for 700 steps seven photos and you'll find that it will cost you around i guess 0.2 dollars just 0.2 dollars to create a flux lora and you are renting a gpu so obviously you do not need any kind of gpu or good laptop or anything like that workstation you can do it on cloud i am using runpod because i find it very easy to use if you are using any other cloud gpu you can use that as well so what we'll do is that you can see this is the explore section of runpod here you need to just find this the flux one dev lora training ai toolkit mp3 pintio and its version 1.2 right there are many this is also like ai toolkit but this is like the full version uh, you don't need it here you need to click on deploy right yeah so we'll be choosing the high speed internet need rtx 3090 with 24 gb vram that is the most cost effective i have found but uh, because it is not available i'll go for high speed and then here you can see uh, 3090 is present it is 0.22 per hour and uh, the images which i mentioned like seven images for 700 steps would take around 45 minutes now one thing edit the template and i like to have it slightly higher you know 120 gb is cool set overrides and deploy on demand now if you click on my pods you will see it is taking some time to set up the whole toolkit the lora training toolkit now before you move forward you need to do just one thing you need to come to your hugging face account right and you need to create a read access token so here you can see you can just copy a read or write any token read is better you can create that copy it here you can see there is a option called edit now in edit pod you see the hf token right you don't need to do anything just paste it here and do not worry i'll change this key so that's not a big deal i'm just showing you and click on save you need to do this if your pod is already active just stop it once and then again start so now it has restarted and the access token is available now for the toolkit here you can see there are two ports one is the 8888 which is the jupiter notebook and currently we do not need it we'll need it when the lora is complete and we need to download it so we are going to 7860 this is the port and this will be the toolkit you can see it has loaded now so this lora is going to be a style lora which i am going to create like a cinematic lora in style of 1940s so that is what i am going to do so i'll name it accordingly i'll say cinematic 1940s and the trigger word is the word or something which is which will be in the prompt so you can trigger the lora i'll give it the same thing underscore 1940s now here i'll upload 
all the images so i am going to use 16 images because this is a style lora you can use like more images but uh, for the faces seven is enough here you can see we can add ai captions with florence so i'll do that so you see that the captions are generated one thing which i like to do is remove the you see there is the image is in black and white remember one thing the things which are varying in the images you need them in the caption and you obviously need the trigger because the trigger is going to be in the prompt but whatever we put even if we don't prompt it as black and white we want the model to generate a black and white image so in that cases it's better if you remove this so the model can understand without the prompt of black and white too we can create uh, like it has to create black and white images so i'll just remove it from all the captions or just leave it at one or two okay so i have removed it now you can see this part is complete now we'll go to the advanced option and here uh, a better way to understand this is uh, if we have 16 images right so let's just say that uh, the steps should be 1600 because uh, if we are using like uh, for every image you can just guess an approximate of 100 steps that is something which i have found very useful like that is the baseline if you go under that it's bad and it is pretty difficult to overtrain flux so what i will do is that 1600 is the minimum but for this video i am going to make it 2000 because this is a style lore so 2000 don't change the learning rate or lora rank or anything model to train is dev low vram will remove because we have 24 gb vram and it is going to take almost 24 gb now if you are accustomed with the code you can also see that there is a uh, um, extra like even more advanced option here you can see it is getting quantized the coda is basically with gpu is being used the guidance scale and everything so everything is there but uh, we are not going to change that because the whole point of this video is to create it in the most easy manner so i'm not going to touch that just remove the low vram and keep it as same and now what i'll do is that i'll click on start training so you can see that the uh, generation is started for the dev models you'll see there is an option that you need to agree some conditions to be able to access the repo you need to do that like normally you need to go to hugging face and you just need to accept it once i have already accepted if you don't you'll see an error here that the access token is not valid although the access token is valid to read you need to accept that terms and condition whatever it is on their uh, hugging face now uh, there will not be any update here this is something very important so you can see the processing it will go on till how many hours it goes it will not show anything here what you need to do is it will take around maybe 5 or 7 minutes that it is uh, going to download the flux models so you will not see any gpu utilization or gpu memory used but after some minutes you will start seeing the gpu utilization as 100% or 90% like you will understand when it is getting activated right you just need to see until and unless gpu utilization is not again like lowering down to zero it is working like sometimes you know uh, you may be confused whether it is working or not but it is once after like uh, it may take i think it will take around like 3 hours for 16 images and that to for 2000 steps um, i think more than 3 hours 3 3, 3, 3 and a half hours but after that you will see a message here that the uh, lora is generated and you can download it Okay so the training is complete one thing i would like to mention that sometimes it can show an error here just like it showed uh, sometime before and then it will not show that it is finished right how would you know that the training is finished is that when you see this no cpu no gpu utilization it has been around 3 hours so basically it took around 2 hours and 20 minutes 
or 30 minutes to complete the training and uh, the pod was up for quite some while before that but uh, it would take around like two and a half three uh, hours for uh, 2000 steps right so even if there is an error here and you see gpu utilization almost full or like it is being utilized do not worry do not close the training is going on this is just the front end if there is some kind of an error here so now we'll see how we can download it so we'll go to the 8888 port and you see the jupyter notebook has been opened right so uh, you will not have this particular you will be here this would be your screen after you open this right so now what you need to do is go to the workspace ai toolkit and you will see outputs and cinematic 1947 was the uh, prompt name like a lora name sir now remember one thing uh, you see this last one right this is our final safe tensors which means 2000 steps but you can see that this is just generated 3 minutes ago but 23 minutes ago there is a file with 1750 which is like 1750 uh, steps so it keeps on saving like uh, different loras are different steps here you can see from 1000 so one hour ago it already saved a lora with 1000 steps the, uh, the lora which was trained till 1000 steps right so if you would have uh, open this before you would have seen like 700 steps or something like that so you see there are actually five loras this is not just one lora 1 2 3 4 5 what you can try out is that you can download all of these and then you can see which one is better which one you are finding better sometimes you can see like the 1500 is working better sometimes you can see the final one is working better another thing that you can do is You see the twelve twelve hundred fifty one is one hour ago, right? So when this is generating, you can just open this notebook, keep on downloading, and you can run. If you are running ConfiUI locally, you can just keep on running it locally and checking whether that LoRa is sufficient or not. So if one hour ago you would have seen that twelve hundred and fifty uh, steps LoRa is something that is enough for you, then you can directly stop. you can just stop it from here this one and uh, you are done with it so if you find that your purpose is being fulfilled you do not need to train more and more here you can see i am actually using the 1750 steps lora so with that my initial prompt was gorgeous woman with long hair in a halter dress and a chinese man in penthouse cinematic and this was the trigger word cinematic 1940s remember we put a trigger word right so for this i am using like uh, beta 22 steps so you can see it is i would say pretty good because if you remember all of the training data set had the women's hair as very short now i don't think this exactly is long hair but it is longer than what was in the training data set and this person although is uh, from a side angle but uh, you can see like uh, i put in prompt a chinese man and uh, the face is asian so uh, it is like following the prompt and you would remember that there were no like uh, asian faces in the training data set so this was the tutorial i hope you liked it and if you have any kind of comments or anything you can put it in the comment section and i'll try to reply as soon as possible so yeah thank you